End of the line, father. Yours, I think. Sorry. It's fine. Here's a part. Oh, this mitt, uh, mitt. It's about time, don't you think? Good grief, who are you? You're not Father Joyce. We're Simeon. I want Simeon. So do a number of people. You'll have to get in line. Wait! I haven't confessed to anything yet. Ja, ja, ja. Let them know that the wicked, the map to go. Oh, oh, ja, ja, ja. Your Grace. Uh, Father Simeon Joyce, have any of you seen him? Have you tried the old inn? I've just arrived. How would I, how would I find it? In grave disrepair, I'm afraid. That's, how would I get there? Let them know that the wicked... Excuse me. I'm looking for Father Simeon Joyce. I see. I was told that he might be here. Ah. And do you know if he is here? I do, yes. And then, is he? He is, yes. And be not drunk with wine, for that would be dissipation. I uh, hear when I get the dissipations. But be filled with the spirit, or... In our case, triply distilled spirits. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, brothers? Yeah. Amen. Amen. My God, Jonathan Keen. I haven't seen you in years. Lads, I want you to meet a friend of mine from seminary. He's... Wait. Where are you? Classic Catholic henchman maneuver. Shouldn't you greet me with a kiss? Take it easy, Simeon. I'll get us another bottle. Dermot? No, not for him you won't. Why don't you let him decide for himself, pal? Simeon. Okay. Simeon? Uh, I guess he decided. Excuse me, is there a taxi service in town? Um, there is, but... Keep livery at your service, Father. You're not driving, Phelan. I damn well will. Come on, Finn, we'll take Simeon home. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Thomas Shepley. My brother Finn. And don't mention it. Simeon's driven me home before when I was so high I was flying. Who's buying? I don't know. No one, Simeon. We're going home. Ladies, gentlemen, I'll expect to see you all at Mass tomorrow. Yes, Father. Sit down, Phelan. Yes, Mr. Howard. <laughs> Brother 
First time in the cave, Father? It is, yes. Staying long? No. Church business, eh? Something like that, yes. Simeon in trouble? Do you mind? This is a church matter. Oh, a church matter. Do you hear that, Finn? Just like the Catholics. I take it you're not Catholic, Mr. Shepley. We're Protestants. It's the only ones in the area. Persecuted, aren't we, Finn? Persecuted. Persecuted? Who do you think gets the call when you've got tree problems? Uh, someone other than you? Tree kings, every time. Even though we're the superior company. I see. And these three kings? Tree kings. Sorry, tree kings. Are Catholic? They're pagans. Pagans. But not Catholics? Not at all. Then, how is this a religious problem? Uh, what would you call it? I don't know, I'm adopted. I'm asking him. Uh, there's the church. There's the steeple. Well, open the door. Where's all the people? changed a bit. You still look like a kid. You don't. Are you here to shut us down? We'll talk about it in the morning. Go to sleep. You're here to shut us down. Listen, I'm here to determine if this parish can be made financially viable. If it can't, and frankly, I don't see how it can, then, then I would be here to shut you down. Without a fair chance? A fair chance? How long have you been here, Simeon? Five, six years. Try 12. No. What was the size of this parish when you arrived? It was big. 150. What's it at now? On a good day? On any day. Maybe 20. 20. You figure that one out. No. No, wait. John, wait, wait. This church is about to turn a corner. These people just need a chance. They need, they... Oh, excuse me. Look at yourself, Simeon. Go to bed. It's Christmas. I was celebrating. You can't shut a church down at Christmas. It's flat out unchristian. Go to bed. I can't go to bed. I have to work on my sermon. Listen, John, promise me you won't do anything drastic till you give me one more fair chance. For old time's sake, okay? John? Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. But just, just before you go, you all know our friend Ari Veloso. He's not doing well. And I thought we might try and sing his favorite Christmas song since he can't be here today. So uh, it's the one he taught me, the one I've been trying to teach you, OK? So we'll all try together. Dona Nobis, you remember. Here we go. One, two, three. Dona. No, sorry. I'm completely uh, out of tune there. We'll try it again, okay? Dona nobis. You know what? We'll try it again some other time. Right now, I want you to meet a friend of mine, an old friend from seminary. He's come all the way from New York City, Father Jonathan Keene. Let's make him feel welcome, okay? <laughs> Father Jonathan Keene. Come on, he's a bit shy. Come on up, John. Peace be with you. Um, I hadn't planned on saying anything this morning. Uh, you can count on seeing me around the next few days as Father Joyce and I evaluate some key operational issues, make some difficult decisions regarding the future of this parish. Decisions that I hope turn out to be in your best interest. That's all. Thank you. That's it? For now, yes. But these are the people you're doing it to. Folks, Father Keene is very powerful as priests go. He's a representative of the archdiocese. Sort of their hitman. That's fair, wouldn't you say? 
He shuts down churches that aren't considered financially viable, churches that are considered dead. And guess what? We've made his hit list. Just a minute. I never specified. I was going to show you that we're not dead. I was going to start by setting up our annual life-size nativity scene, but it would take a lot of work. The figurines all still need repainting. I need volunteers. The stable is a wreck. The town's already set theirs up anyway, and it always looks better than ours. I was going to show you. But maybe he's right. Maybe we are dead. I mean, listen. Look around. Glass, marble, a stone mother, her cold child, a dead man on a cross. We're nothing but a mausoleum. I mean, do any of us even know what we're doing here? And I thought a life-size crash could fix all that. You win. You've beaten me. They're all yours. Hold it. Regardless of whether this parish is closed or not, I'm not the interim priest. I don't think you have a choice. Good luck. Father Joyce, I have not yet reached a decision regarding the future of this parish. Father Joyce! Simeon! Perhaps you have a point. Perhaps this, this crash could, as you say, fix all that. But I think you need more than life-size figurines, don't you? I mean, I, I think you need... you. And you, and you, all of you. Think about it. A real Mary, a real Joseph, real wise men, real shepherds. Outside, Christmas Eve, they'd be the talk of the community. People who haven't been to church in years might just come back. Who knows, after the holidays, this place could be full again. Alive. Profitable. Productive, rather. But you don't have much time, do you? So let me suggest you hold auditions here tomorrow night, don't you think? Excellent. You asked for a chance. There it is. They're pretty excited. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen them like that. I have to admit something to you, John. I didn't expect this of you. It's going to be great. Well, uh, we'll see. Hey, what are these? Hospital bills. Receipts, actually. Right, but they're all paid in cash. And they're all to one Mr. Veloso. You've submitted no copies of these. Who is he? He's an elderly missionary. A priest? Lay, actually. I was going to send them in, but I wanted to send them all together. Who authorized these? Um, Kinnard? No, not Kinnard. Oh, don't tell me. Sakari. That's it. That's who it was. That's what I thought. Why is that? Well, because I just made that name up. So does this guy even exist? Or are these a cover for something else? A uh, young woman, perhaps. Knock it off. Of course he exists. Do you want to meet him? I'm going to have to now, aren't I? Well, that's fine with me. Come on. No, it doesn't have to be right this second. Bring your coat, because my heater doesn't work. Unbelievable. Eleanor Worthington wants us to change the date of the crush. She has a party every Christmas Eve. You don't change something like this for a little party. It's not little. The whole community comes. It's a tradition. It's big. Bigger than the church? Church. Where are they going to go, John? Let them have their party another night. Not the party if you shut us down. Oh, come on. Nothing's been determined yet. And if it is, they'll do what everyone else is doing. They'll go to the next closest parish. Do you enjoy doing this? I mean, you could have had a job in the regular world, and you would have saved yourself a great deal of abstinence if you guys are still into that sort of thing. You guys obviously aren't. What is wrong with your seat? The car was donated by a big guy. I don't know why you bother. The whole thing's falling apart anyway. The church, John. It's all unraveling. The curtain's been torn back. 
And we've all been exposed as liars, cowards. Let's not forget drunkards. Well, I'm not gonna leave them. I'm their shepherd. And the good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. He protects them from wolves. That's my job. You hear me? Hey, stop the car. Stop the car. Excuse me, miss. I believe this is yours from the bus stop. Oh, thanks. I think you have mine. I do. Not with me, though, sorry. Fine. Perhaps I could get it back at some point. Of course. Thank you. What was that all about? Nothing. Okay, let's go. That was nice of you. No, it wasn't. She's got my other glove. Who's that guy with her anyway? My patron saint. Oh, and who's that? Bacchus? Seth Herod, Jr. Hold it, Herod of the Herods? Mm-hmm, his family's had a summer home here for over 100 years. I haven't heard this from Marjorie herself, but um, the word is that they're secretly engaged. She's engaged to a Herod? That doesn't, that doesn't bother you? Why, should it? Well, for starters, the Herods aren't Catholic. I'll bet you financial boys wish they were. We wish for them the same as I'm sure you do. That they find their way to the one true church. Do you practice lines like that in front of a mirror? Mary can't marry Herod. That's not how it goes. Mary? Simeon, that woman is your first and only obvious casting choice for the part of Mary in the pageant. A lot of the ladies were looking forward to auditioning for that part. Yeah, I'm sure they were, but she's the only one you've got under 60. You can't have an old Mary. Ari, pensei que tivesse esquecido de mim, Simeão. Esquecido? Como um pai esquecer o próprio filho? Esse poder ser eu nunca iria te esquecer. Eu sou um padre, Ari. Eu sou um pai. Obrigado, Simeão. Eu trouxe uma pessoa que quer te conhecer. Ele foi um discípulo meu uh, a 15 anos atrás. E ele está engasgado desde a década época. Tenha piedade dele. Father Jonathan Keane, Ari Veloso. Hello, Father. It is my wife, Lydia. Mr. Veloso, I'm actually here to ask you. <coughs> I'm sorry, Father. What were you saying? Um, I'm actually here to find out how you've been feeling. I cannot complain, thanks to Samuel. I really wants to come to Christmas Mass. I told him it's impossible. It's not impossible. Nothing's impossible. Remember that, not even Christmas Mass. Your friend is a credit to your ministry. I'm sure he is. Uh, but I hear you had quite a ministry yourself. He loved to sing. Really? So is that where you found your greatest success? Great success. Oh, I suppose George's Bank was the best. But selfish out now. George's Bank? Yes. Cod mostly. Cod as in fish? Cod. 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 You're gonna report this, aren't you? I don't know. I mean, you've only been using money from the collections to pay an old fisherman's medical bills. What do you, of course I'll report you. Hang on, listen. I had a dream right after Ari got sick. A vision, I think. Mm -hmm. And in it, I saw him get better. I saw him walk back into the church. Let me ask you, how much stealing does it take to make this vision of yours a reality? It's not stealing, it's their money. 
And besides, it doesn't matter how much because they'll have spent it on a miracle. It'll be like betting on a long shot. The whole church will see it. They'll see God worked a miracle for us and it'll be his stamp of approval on this parish and on me. You should have been a charismatic. No, things like this have happened to me before. I've seen people healed, you know. You ever see him get young again? You should have been a cop. Keep your eyes on the road. Fear not. <coughs> My God, sir, excuse me. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Which shall be to all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David. A Savior who is Christ the Lord. Ooh, I hated that one. Can I do it again? A Savior who is Christ the Lord. Shepherds are going next. Then the wise men. We're trying out for wise men. Good for you. Behold the handmaiden of the Lord. Behold the handmaiden. Behold the handmaiden of the Lord. Behind the... Be it unto me. No, be it unto me. Be it unto... According to thy word. According to thy word. Now, is it accordion or accordion? Oh, I, I guess not. That's I can't hear you, Jane. Behold the hand. No, I still can't hear you. I'm going to go in the back, and I want to still be able to hear you. Oh, dear. Behold the hand. I didn't know you ran. Are you guys allowed to run? Are you going to stay and watch? Did you ask the Worthington girl to play Mary? She's the town librarian. Not only that, she's the primary caregiver for her grandmother. And did you further know that she's engaged? Is that for sure, though? Marjorie said nothing to me about it. I definitively heard that she had become betrothed. Hold it. Hold it. Behold you didn't even ask her? Behold. Well, no, but... Behind the handmaid shall do unto him accordingly. Good luck. Did you hear that? Are you okay? I'm fine. I, uh, I have a problem. I have asthma. I carry a shot of adrenaline just in case. Adrenaline? It's produced naturally in the body by strong emotion. Anger, fear, love. No, I know what it is. I just didn't know that strong emotions made you breathe better. Apparently they do. And running in the cold helps your breathing? No, it makes it worse. But I figure the more I run, the stronger my lungs will become. And the you know, unless I'll be affected by the asthma. It's a, it's a theory that I apply to many areas of my life. Did you use that theory when you became a priest? What, how's it, what do you mean? No offense, but I take my grandma to that church because she likes me to go with her. And I love her, not the church. I'm not a big fan of you guys. I'm not Simeon, I don't consider Simeon a priest. But I gotta say, I don't have a lot of patience for priests. Why not? Come on, because. You guys have a problem with women. That's ridiculous. Except the mother of Jesus. You like her, don't you? I'm... Why the big fascination? Besides the whole mother of God bit. Besides? How do you... The besides is it. God had had it with us before Mary. He'd given up on us completely. I think Mary single-handedly changed his mind. I think he fell in love with her. And got her pregnant. I think I tend to get in a good mood when I go on a trip, and I, <laughs> I think this one's having the complete opposite effect on you, isn't it? So... I'm hey, I'm sorry. Night. You're right. This trip is putting me in a bad mood. But I like your Mary theory, though. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, we were, uh, Father Joyce actually was wondering if you'd consider playing her. 
Mary, I mean. Uh, for us in the crash. Good one. No, we're serious. Maybe next Christmas. Well, now that's a problem, because unless things change for him very soon, for the whole parish, really, uh, neither one's gonna be around next Christmas. Getting on, buddy? I'm not. No, the uh, young lady is. You're the only one here, bub. I'm not going anywhere. You getting on or what? I'm not going anywhere. I only got halfway through the auditions tonight. Everyone was so good, I didn't know who should play what. Well, you're running out of time. I know. I was thinking, could you sit in with us tomorrow night? I mean, it was your idea in the first place. OK, fine, fine. Thanks. Hey, were you praying? Of course I wasn't praying. I was, I was just thinking. All right, Joe, so just uh, whenever you're ready. Where are the angels? They've already departed. Wait a minute. They said their lines? That's right. You said we were supposed to wait until they said their lines. I did say that. Well, I didn't hear any angels. I didn't hear any either. Uh, Pretend they've spoken. Well, why didn't you tell us that in the first place? Need to let us lowly shepherds in on these things, Father. All right, fellas, now let's go. There are the angels. They do their thing, and they're gone. Let us now go even unto Bethlehem. And see this thing which has come to pass, that the Lord has made known to us shepherds. Yes. Let's. Sylvia, do we have to nail? Because I just had my knee replaced last summer. Of course not. Yeah, and uh, Pat had his hip done, too, Father. Isn't that right, Pat? Yes, I did. Thank you, Bob. Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For oh, we... Oh, I'm sorry, Eugene. I stepped all over your line. Sorry. Yeah. Not a problem, Rockwell. No, you go right ahead. For we... Uh, you know, Eugene, if I said my line again, then you could come in. It'll sound more natural. Certainly, Rockwell. Okay. Here we go. Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For Hit we... It, Eugene. For we have seen his star in the east and come to censure him. Worship him. It's worship him. How do you get censure from worship? Jeez, oh, I'm sorry, Father. That's OK, Mike. That's fine. We'll Hold just on to your um... undercracker, Simeon. We haven't finished yet. Hey! Hey. Uh, hey. We just contrived that bit of business ourselves. Thank you, all of you. I'm very impressed. John, anything you'd like to add? Yes, um, I think so. I think at your next rehearsal, you need to concentrate on removing all dialogue. All dialogue? Yes, and all movement as well. I don't think anyone should be saying or doing anything. I think it would be uh, distracting. What would you suggest they do? Stand silently, adoringly. Like the figurines in storage. Yes, yes, ex exactly like that. Bob? What are we going to use for a stable? Yeah, and what about real livestock? Where would we acquire real livestock? It'd make a bit of a mess, though, wouldn't it? A practical point at this juncture, sir. How long will we have to stand outside in sub-freezing conditions? Hold it. If, 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 if you're going to commit to this, then you've got to be willing to stand out there as long as it takes for your community to... The community is going to be at the Worthington party. Well, I know I Ooh, am. Oh, Father, will we be finished in time for the Worthington party? Who is our target audience anyway? Have we addressed that issue? Those are all good questions that I think Father Keene and I will need to talk about. And we'll have answers at the next rehearsal. Uh, right, Father Keene? Right. Right. So, um, go in peace. You are in big trouble here. You realize that? What are you going to do, shut me down? Oh, you're not taking this seriously at all, are you? 
I've given you a chance to do something different, to stand out for once in your career. You don't accomplish that with old people who can't kneel. You need youth, you need passion. You haven't been this passionate about anything in years, and you want them to just stand there. You don't get it. Let me borrow your car. Why? Well, you need a Mary, don't you? Come on. If I let you take my car, next you'll think you can take my church. I can take your church. But you can't take my car. You can take my scooter. I don't ride scooters. Close, pal. We're closed. I heard. It's just I was outside, I saw what was happening, and I wondered if there's any way I can help. I did have four younger sisters who had boyfriends, one or two of whom were occasionally mean to them. So it's not as if I don't understand these things. I do. What would you do when they were mean? Well, I also have two older, bigger, brothers, so the three of us would go to the guy, very politely, of course, give him the option, either acting like a gentleman or having the daylights beaten out of him. That's, um, that's what we used to do. I used to tell them, if they couldn't imagine the guy as the father of their kids, what's the point? He wasn't the guy. You had lucky sisters. Well, thank you. I told you we were closed, right? Yeah, you did, yes. It's just that I was one... I wasn't wondering. Father Joyce was wondering if you'd given any more thought to playing Mary in the, in the thing. I'm not Mary. Thanks. But I'm not. I don't even believe in the virgin birth. Why not? <sighs> Come on. No, I mean, seriously, why is that any harder to swallow than, than say, well, you believe in evolution? What does evolution have to do with the virgin birth? Well, I can explain it if well, you'll just... Take billions of years. It might if you keep interrupting me. Now, now listen for a second, and, and, and remember, we believe all this unquestioningly. We believe that billions of years ago, a cosmic soup appeared out of thin air. Only hold it, there wasn't air, so thin nothingness, right? And then, and then billions of years later, a perfect living cell is formed. And then this cell starts magically turning into fish and lizards and birds and dinosaurs, all accidentally, we're told. And then millions of years later, you always gotta have those, apes come along. And here's the good part. Some of the apes turn into us. So, uh, so honestly, which is harder to believe in? That or a teenage girl gives birth to the son of God? Are you angry? No, absolutely not. Well, you're breathing very well. So either you're angry and all that adrenaline's helping you out or all that running's starting to pay off. Well, I didn't go running tonight. I spent the evening watching a depressing rehearsal of a Christmas pageant that could possibly be pretty good if a certain young woman didn't insist on being a method actress. Method? Method. Meaning I don't think Father Joyce would object too strongly at this point to any woman under 60 acting the part of Mary, even if she doesn't embrace every aspect of the virgin birth. That's why it's called acting. Now you're angry. No, I'm... Mm, all I'm... All Father Joyce is asking is that you would think about it. Okay, I'll think about it. That you will? I said I would. Well, all right. Thank you. Good night. Let's 
Simeon must have been awfully good friends. Why do you say that? You're going to a lot of trouble for him. It's nice. Well, thank you. Oh, hey, I forgot your glove. Thanks. I've already lost most of the feeling in this hand, but thanks just the same. Good night, Miss Worthington. Hello, Father Keane. Hello. I picked Marjorie up after work. That must be nice for you. Will we see you at the party? Uh, we're having a living nativity Christmas Eve. But I thought I told Simeon to change that. You did. We didn't. Good night. Unbelievable. How'd it go with Marjorie? Fine. She said she'd think about it. What are you doing in there? Praying. You want to join me? Join you praying? Yes. I don't want to join you praying. Praying's personal. It's private. I think it would be nice praying with someone else for a change. No, it wouldn't. And, and why don't you spend a little less time praying and a little more time cleaning this pigsty up? Because I like praying better. Right. But you're living like a hog. So what does that say for all your praying? Well. If I were in your shoes and I were here to evaluate a man who preferred praying to almost anything else... Next to a stiff drink. I'd say that man had his priorities straight. Simeon, that's why a guy like you will never be in my shoes. John, do you like being in your shoes? I'm afraid that it will coincide with my Christmas party. I wouldn't worry too much. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. Come on in. The clerk put on his white comforter and tried to warm himself at the candle, in which effort, not being a man of strong imagination, he failed. Hang on just a second, I'll be right back. Thanks for coming. Of course, what's up? Graham's mad. Mad? It's about the party. 
I'll wait in the car. Actually, could you pick up where I left off? Right there. Where's she sitting? A Merry Christmas, Uncle. God save you, cried a cheerful voice. It was the voice of Scrooge's nephew, who came upon him so quickly that this was the first intimation he had of his approach. Bah, said Scrooge, humbug. Wait. What? Is there a picture on that page? There is, yeah. He didn't show it to us. The Clarington always shows us the pictures. You're doing it wrong. I'm not doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. How could we be doing it wrong? Well, you're the ones on the wrong side of the book. Look at that guy. <laughs> because, said Scrooge, a little thing affects them. A slight disorder of the stomach makes them cheats. You may be an undigested bit of beef, a blot of mustard, a crumb of cheese, a fragment of an underdone potato. There's more of gravy than a grave about you wherever you are. Scrooge, now, was not much in the habit of cracking jokes. Nor did... It's the Christmas views. What's going on here? John, we're just getting warmed up. Jonathan Keene, Seth Harry Jr. How you doing? I like your set out there, man. Uh, this isn't my, this is Father Joyce's project, actually. Well, when is this being put on? Christmas Eve. That's the night of the Worthington party. You realize that? We do, yeah. You have actors for the wise men and shepherds? Well, who's gonna play Mary? Uh, at this time, it's Jane Babineau. Yeah? Is she pretty? Young? Uh, not young, per se, no. She's youngish. She's not 60 yet. 60? She's Mary? Simeon, you're in trouble. I tried to tell him that. We did ask your uh, Marjorie here, but she turned us down. You did? He did? I said I'd think about it. Mary? Huh. And you think she'd be right for it? Well, that's what we thought, didn't we? Absolutely. She's not too old? Not at all. Well, I mean, I never pictured that Mary as a librarian type is all. What is that supposed to mean? Yeah, Seth, what does a librarian look like? I'm getting myself into trouble here, aren't Marjorie I? Marjorie would be perfect. Look, Mary was supposed to be beautiful, right? Marjorie's beautiful. Thank you, Simeon. Seth, I'm tired. I want to go okay. home. Okay, but not like Mary beautiful. Hey. What? Take it easy. What do you mean? All I'm saying is Mary was supposed to be this perfectly chaste creature, right? Seth, knock it off. <laughs> well, Marjorie Worthington, on the other hand. Hey, oh. John, no, John. No, 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 it's OK. Drunk. It's OK. Let me get this straight. I'm about to be slugged by, what did you say he was, a curate? I never said that. Well, whatever he is, he wants to slug me. John. Don't you? John. John. Oh, Wound a little tight, aren't you? Everybody knows she's not the Mary type. That's all I was saying. Okay, she's not the type. When's the next rehearsal? 
It's tomorrow night. Oh, come on. You don't have to prove a point here. Fine. I'll do it. What are you doing? I mean, if you still want me. I do. We do. Oh. OK. I had nothing to do with this. You remember that, Simeon. Thank you, Miss Worthington. I need a drink. Some patron saint you've got there. I know. People can be idiots when they drink. Have one? What I don't get is why a sharp-witted, attractive, intelligent woman would put up with that... with him. He's squashing her. They have nothing in common. Can I have another one? Just a little one? Sure. My theory is she's either very bored, which is very possible in a place like this. I mean, he's rich. She's... Ah, she doesn't strike me as that type, though. It's either that, or she's racked by some sort of guilt and views him as her just punishment. You do a lot of counseling? No. None. Never. I avoid the whole people side of things entirely. The people side? Yeah. Their lives, their problems, on and on. See, I mean, I've reached a point where I can shut a parish down in my sleep, pull a priest and replace him before anybody knows what's hit him. But just between you and me, I've always hated the people side. Hello? Hello? Kondo? Shh, shh, no. No. Hey, Lydia. Paso ir a Agora. Certo and tal. Vejo logo. Seja forte, okay? Seja forte. Confiam Deus. Confiam Deus. Yeah. Boy or not. I'm not going to be at your rehearsal tomorrow night. So if you want to be different and stand out or any of that junk, you can run it yourself. It was your idea to begin with. Why aren't you going to be there? Because unlike you, I don't hate the people side. That's why I became a priest. And that was Lydia. Ari is much worse. Wait, hold it. I thought he gets better. What about God's stamp of approval on you in this parish? Don't you ever talk about my friend again. Okay, folks, we're gonna run this through for real when Marjorie Worthington gets here. Until she does, Jane, is it? Can you stand in for her? Let's just all pretend that we're uh, outside. Then it's not raining. I heard it's going to make a diversification to snow later. Right, so did I. Bill, why don't you go on up the ladder? You want Gabriel to climb on the ladder? I heard we're getting a blizzard. This is just for rehearsal, Good Bill. Good God, sir. No, Andrew, least of all Gabriel will stand atop a ladder. Why, it completely obliterates any illusion of celestial splendor. Say, would we still have a crease in the blizzard? Yeah, we'd just have to play that by ear. Bill, on Christmas Eve, you're not going to be on a ladder. You're going to be on scaffolding. Scaffolding? My God, sir. <laughs> the Worthington party starts at 7.30 Christmas Eve. Will we be finished by then? I have no idea. Gabriel, the messenger angel on scaffolding. Why, the whole supernatural power angle will be completely obfuscated. Why don't you put him in one of them flying harnesses and drop him down out of a tree? <laughs> I'll not get into any harness. People, people, could, could we please be quiet, just for a minute? Father Keen. Just a minute. Bill, if you've got a better idea, I'd like to hear it. But until you do, get up the ladder and start rejoicing. People, look, I'm sorry. We're just going to have to deal with the unknown here. I, I realize this is a work in progress. I realize that. But can we try, just for a minute, to pretend that Christ himself is here in a manger? Can we try? Bill, ready? Once more into the breach, dear friends. Hey, I did that one in college. Quiet. 
Okay, and hit your positions. Father Keen. What is it? Where's Simeon? It, he's at the Velosos. Is Marjorie with you? She's coming. Could you come back here for a moment? I'm right in the middle of this. It can't wait. All right, hang on. Bill, hands up. No. Arms out. Hands up. Right, think glorious. Glorious, Bill. Yeah. And everyone else, hello, hello. On Christmas Eve, your attention's gonna be here on the baby, not on Bill. What is it? I need to confess. Oh, right this second. It's extremely important. All right. Uh, could I have one or two of the shepherds kneeling, please? Father Keen. Simeon said we didn't have to kneel. He did say that, oh, sorry. Father. Sorry, I forgot about that. The, the wise men will kneel if you want, Father. It's okay with you, Eugene. Fine by me, Rockwell. Uh, okay with you, Mike? Oh, oh yeah. Fine by me. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Father Keen, are you listening to me? I am. Yes. Oh, but hell. I... My knee is stuck. Oh, a little Father assistance Keen, here, Mike. I'll be waiting in the confession room. Oh, I knew mean, kneeling okay. was a bad idea, okay. Rock. Kneeling's always a bad idea. That's how I got my first wife. <laughs> Somebody had to. <laughs> the shepherds are a bunch of pansies. Folks. Please, could we just... You don't need to get nasty, Rock. I love pansies. Well, I like okay. them, too. Folks, can oh we... God, sir, I've got a key. I could stand in the phone company's cherry pick. I adore cherries. Anything with pits. Shut really. up! Shut up! Take a break. Hey, we don't even have a Joseph. And Gabriel never had to put up with any of this crap. The confessor always speaks first. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. My heart is full of anger, and my heart is full of hatred, just pure hatred. Toward whom? Toward a man, a spoiled, wealthy, worthless man, who for over a year now has been cheating on his fiancée with another, uh, another woman. Wait, he's been cheating on Marjorie? With Marjorie. She's the other woman. He's engaged to someone else, some society tart in New York. What? Her door was ajar this evening when she was getting dressed for this thing tonight. I happened to look in. I can't believe I didn't notice sooner. Notice what? She's pregnant. Father? Father, what should I do? Father? Father Keen! Sorry I'm late. Is this okay? What do you want me to do? I've never acted before. Could I talk to you, please? Um, in the back? My mom acted in a lot of plays before I was born. She wasn't a regular actress, though. She wasn't a regular anything. She wanted to be a jazz singer, actually, but when she had me and Dad left, Graham said she just kind of, you know, lost it. She's been in a hospital since I was little. And just never could get it together. I'm pretty nervous. You can't be Mary. Why are you doing this? Because you're pregnant. And you're not even engaged to him, are you? Did you know he's engaged to someone else? Yes. You did? What were you doing with him? I'm not with him anymore. Why were you ever with him? I don't know. Why didn't you come to me? I don't even know you. Fine. Your friend, Simeon, then. One of us could have helped you. How could you help me? What could you do? Talk Seth into making an honest woman of me? Convince me to go ahead with it and have a kid who will never have a father? I never knew my dad. I never talked to him once. He never even sent me a postcard. I'm not going to do that to a kid. Well, please keep in mind there are a few options between your ideal childhood and no childhood at all. Like what? Put it up for adoption? Put it in one of your orphanages with a bunch of nuns who never even wanted to be mothers in the first place? Like what? You're not Mary. Don't you think I know that? You're the one who started this whole Mary thing in the first place. Those times you saw me at the bus stop, do you know where I was going? I was going down to the city to get this whole thing over with. So I'd see you and I, I 
gonna go through with it. But you know what's weird? If I had, I could have been your Mary, couldn't I? Wasn't that Marjorie? Yes. I thought she was gonna be our Mary. Not anymore. Why not? Because she's pregnant by your patron saint. Oh, and by the way, they're not engaged. He's just been using her. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep, even said it with a straight face. All the while, you've been selling one of your sheep to the wolf. For what? A few drinks. Next time, hold out for pieces of silver. They're more traditional. Father? Yeah. Oh, um, Jane, could you take over the part of Mary permanently, please? Bill, you can sit this one out if you want. Thank God for that. Can I have your attention, please? Not now, Simeon. Yes, now. I want you all to know Father Keen will be your interim priest until the parish is closed, which I imagine will be just after Christmas. He's my successor, and you're a pastor. And I trust you'll show him the same kindness and respect you've shown me over all the years. God bless you. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. 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 It's been three months since my last confession. It's been one month since Two my years, last confession. Two years, three months, and one week. Three weeks? In about six oh months. God, sir, it's been 14 years. God only knows how long it's never been. never even told Father Joyce how much I cared about him. We got him. to talking, and we realized we'd never even had him over for dinner. Not once. I've always intended to bake him a pie, but I never the guy did. I give you the shirt off his back. Sure, he drinks a bit. Good God, sir, who doesn't? Joyce is a good guy. Never him. had any other one but him. He's been pulling all the weight himself. Never even offered to help him. We failed 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 him. I am heartily sorry for my sins, Father. I am heartily sorry for all my sins, Father. I am heartily sorry for 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 my sins, sir. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. You can all go home, you know. You've been absolved. We've been talking about things out here, Father, and uh, 
We took a vote. And... And everyone decided... Not that, everyone, Thespian. Uh, almost everyone. We decided that we just don't have the heart to continue with this thing anymore, Father. With Simeon leaving it all. We thought he'd be proud seeing all of us out there. Only he won't see us now. Like putting on a play for your parents when you're a kid. Only they don't show up. So why do the play? Right? You understand, don't you, Father? Of course. Joe thought you'd get mad. Mad? No, I'm not mad. This, this was all for you, not me. So, um, go in peace. Go on. We didn't vote with the rest of them. That's right, Father. The wise men will show up if that's what you want. Two wise men kneeling before an empty stable doesn't make them too wise, does it, Rock? Uh, am I too late for dinner? Um, I don't have a cook at the moment. I was just on my way out, actually. Sorry? No. No, I can get you a pint if you like. Sometimes it'll do in the place of dinner. Okay. Thank you. I heard you weren't having the pageant then. Uh, well, maybe you could do something for next Easter. Uh, I don't think so. No. Dermot, may I ask you a personal question? You may. Though if it's religious in nature, I may not give you an entirely honest answer. No, it's nothing like that. It's... Do you enjoy this, running a pub? Very much. How did you know this is what you were supposed to do? How do you mean supposed? I don't know. I've always believed we, we start out with certain inclinations. That ideally, of course, we pursue, make careers out of, find fulfillment in. Those were the things we were supposed or, or, or meant to do. So what was it that made you know you wanted to run a pub? Combination of factors, really. A, I love beer. B, I love people. C, people love beer. It was really a no-brainer from there. That one's on the old inn. Thank you. Now may I ask you a personal question? You may. So if it's religious in nature, I might not give well, you... Well, then you have the right to remain silent and all the rest of that. Do you know I, um... I have a little girl named Amanda. Do you? Nice name. Well, I mean, as in you have the right to remain silent? I think you're thinking of Miranda. You're Miranda rights. Am I? Miranda, is it? Never been arrested. Well, what does Amanda have the right to do? I don't know. Put her name on an oven, I suppose. <laughs> And that's actually a mana. Oh, it is? I've never bought an oven. I've bought a few. Uh, not exactly a mana's, but ovens. It's a great, great feeling buying an oven. You're standing there as they deliver it, and they look at you and you say, 
put her right there. Or right there. It depends where you've got space for it. All the while, your wife is gazing at you as if you're St. George or someone. It's a great, great feeling. I think I'd like to buy an oven someday. Put her right there. Would you, would you fellas mind? No, no, you don't say, would you mind to these guys? Put her there. That's right, father. That's it. If you ever do decide to buy one, I can steer you in the right direction. I don't know, I... Well, you can always have a job here. A priest pouring beer? Be a mighty draw. Uh, father, I promised my family I'd... Uh... Oh. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. You stay here as long as you like. It's just they're waiting for me at the Worthington party. You should drop by. Either way, you take your time here. Just uh, shut the door on your way out, all right? Thank you. Dermot. What was it you were going to ask me? How did you know you were supposed to be a priest? Uh, I'm going to have to invoke my Amanda rights on that one. Right. Merry Christmas, Father. Merry Christmas, Dermot. Father Cain. Father Time. Father Christmas. Gentlemen? Going further, Father? Ah. Uh...
prefer color movies with fighting in them or tuxedo love movies? Tuxedo love? Yes, movies where men wear tuxedos and there's and there's no fighting, only lots of talking and kissing. And they're always black and white as opposed to color. Definitely tuxedo love, definitely. I agree. Hey, John. Glad you could make it. Thank you. Do you see that? That's my idea of church. That's my idea of heaven. That's peace on earth, my friend. You know, when I was a kid, we summered here on the Cape. We had a cottage on the beach. Every morning, I'd get up and go out to the porch, and my dad would always be there, having his coffee, staring out at the ocean. I'd climb up next to him, and we'd stare at the sunlight on the water. We never said a word, but seeing all that light, feeling his arm around me, I used to think that's what heaven was like. I think I want a family of my own, John. What? I think I'm gonna get married. Well, to whom? Oh, hold it, hold it. You're just gonna renounce your vows to the church. I made no vows to the church. I made a vow to God to look after his sheep. She's one of his sheep. We're supposed to put others above ourselves, and besides, you're kicking me out of a job. Yeah, but you're always a priest. I always will be, for her, for our child. Simeon, that's not your child. I'll make it my child. I'll treat that kid as if it were our own. Has she said yes? She hasn't said no. Her suitor has dropped his guard. I sense an opportunity. Wish me luck. I've now been rejected by two partners. I figure you're the obvious choice for number three. I can't dance. I'll show you. Come here. We might as well be friends again, right? Were we ever friends? I think we might have been under different circumstances. What are you going to do? I don't know. I used to dream about having a nice wedding here in the backyard. But years go by and the guy you dreamed about never shows. And then you wake up about to be a mother. I love kids. I want kids, but not like this. And I've thought about that too. About what? I always know what you're thinking. What was I thinking? What if I never get another chance, right? I am getting older. But if this is my one shot at a baby, I've thought about it. And I don't know. So as a friend, I was a priest. As a friend, what should I do? My grandmother thinks you're the worst priest she's ever met. She thinks you're a spy. I don't think you're a spy. You know what I think you are? Shall I tell you? Hey. What, what just happened? I think you just got kicked. It went crazy when we started dancing. Oh, hold it, hold it. How, how far along are you? Six months, I don't know, maybe more. But, but you don't look Dad? At... What is it, honey? Where's my dad? He's right here, baby. Right here, sweetheart. Oh. This is Amanda Fowler. Sleepwalk. Ow, ow. What, what if that's wrong? I'm not sure. You want to sit down? <sighs> yeah. Should I get someone? I don't know. Get Simeon. 
Hey, Simeon. I'm gonna write a book. It's gonna be very scandalous. Get out. <laughs> Did you get enough to drink out there? Save some for the rest of us, pal. Hey, this is the backyard. Are you all right? It feels a little better. That's good. You're bleeding pretty badly. That's good. How do I get out of here? I gotta get ready for mass. No, nobody's gonna be there. Come here. Come sit down. Tip your head back. Hold still. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Shh. Let me see. Oh, you might need stitches. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna do them. You need to go to the hospital. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Hey. Are you listening to me? I didn't mean to say that in there. I did Have you always wanted to be a priest? No. I wasn't even Catholic, my girlfriend was. I thought you couldn't have girlfriends. We can't. This was college. She was Catholic. I was just the guy that got her pregnant. She wanted to get married. I didn't. But I said I'd think about it if she'd have it taken care of. We start again. We fought about that one a lot. I put a lot of pressure on her. A lot of pressure. A lot of guilt. Finally just wore her down. She did what I asked. But we didn't get married. We broke up. I thought that was the end of it. But I started having dreams, seeing things, stupid stuff. Her. I knew her face the first time I saw her. It was like I've always known her. She's beautiful. If I had known she was gonna be mine, I would have wanted her. And I wanted her to forgive me more than anything. So I thought I'd, I thought I'd try to pay for it. I, I never wanted to be a priest. <laughs> I've obviously had way too much to drink. Good night, Miss Worthington. How long have you been standing there? Hey, John. Not now, Simeon. John. Not now. That's the closet. Mr. Herod, I am genuinely sorry. Please forgive me. Like hell I will. You'll be hearing from my attorneys. Hang on, John. I can't. I have a mass to prepare for. And I expect to see everybody there. John. John. Get out of here, Simeon. Try the choke. Go back into your wife. You're filming it. Wait a second. I'm not going to talk about this. Did I say anything? Not one word. Being a priest is a privilege, not a punishment. Yeah, that's it. Hey. Is this what you're after? Forgiveness is an awful business, isn't it? But your man here beat you to it. It's not your job. It is my job to love one another. I don't love anyone. Then you're an imposter, John. You're a liar. Take off the collar. Lay it down. Just walk away. I can't. I don't think you have a choice. Don't you get it? It doesn't matter what you think. 
You've been removed because of what you think. Look at yourself, Simeon. You're about to lay down your own vows because you feel sorry for some girl that got herself knocked up, so don't preach to me about love and laying things down. I'll never lay anything down. You certainly laid that down. Hey. Did you run all the way here? How come you're breathing so well? I don't know. Why are you so mean? I don't know. In the library once, I imagined you as this kid's father. And you were nice. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I want this baby. I know you do, but I'm gonna go get help. Wait. Wait. What's gonna happen to me? Nothing. Nothing. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be just fine. You're such a liar. How'd you ever pass your priest exam? Oh. Hang on, I'll be right back. Don't leave me. I'm just gonna get help. Don't come back if you think I'm Mary. Cause I'm not. I know that. You don't know who I am. Oh. <laughs> Is this the latest version of Last Rite? Shut up. It... Hell with Last Rites. You're not dying. You're the worst priest I ever met. Shut up. I'm not Mary.
Hello, I'm Dr. Matthews. Uh, can I speak to the father, please? Is the father here? Here. Hi, I'm Dr. Matthews. Baby is extremely premature, and the mother's had a very rough time. Father, wait. Oh, Simeon can handle it from here. But you don't know yet. Maybe she's gonna live. Maybe they're both gonna live. I can't. I don't want to know. Stop talking foolish. It doesn't take a wise man to see that you love the girl. I had a dream right after Ari got sick, a vision, I think. And in it, I saw him get better. I saw him walk back into the church. The whole church will see it. They'll see God work a miracle for us, and it'll be his stamp of approval on this parish and on me. John? A light shines on us this day. A child has been born unto us. Uh... 
And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, an angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were very much afraid. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And let this be a sign unto you. You will find a baby wrapped in swine clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth, good will toward men. on earth. Peace on earth.